Hi, my name is Brian King. I live in uh, Madison here, and uh, I am retired, and I'm a docent at the Chazen Museum of Art. Come by sometime if you like. My question is, how can I tell if a mushroom or fungus type thing that I find in a local park here is edible or not? My name is Anne Pringle, and I'm a professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and I'm a mycologist, which means I'm trained to study fungi, and I study both the ecology or the distribution of mushrooms and their evolution. The way to identify an edible mushroom is actually fairly straightforward. To identify an edible or a poisonous mushroom, you have to know what it is. And although maybe that sounds intimidating at first, it's really as easy as figuring out, for example, when you see this, you know that you're looking at a grapefruit as compared to this, which is an orange. And you can tell that one is an orange and one is a grapefruit based on their size, on their color. This one's very orange. This one has tones of red, for example. Sometimes smell is a guide. So basically the answer is know your biodiversity. If you know your biodiversity, then you know which species are edible and which species are not edible. There's not a rule. But if you can learn to tell the difference between a grapefruit and an orange, you can learn to tell the difference between different kinds of mushrooms. And you can look at this mushroom and you can see that it's white and that it's relatively small and it has a really classic mushroom shape, right? These wood air mushrooms, in fact, look very different, right? They don't have the classic mushroom shape. They're different colors on either side. Um, in the same way that you can tell that these things are different from each other, you can walk in the woods and learn to tell that the different mushrooms that you pick up are different from each other. An edible mushroom can take um, different shapes and sizes, and a poisonous mushroom can also take different shapes and sizes, for example. Just the same way when you're walking in a forest, um, there's not a just simple rule that identifies edible plants from not edible plants. You have to know, actually, the thing that you're holding. You have to give it a name, and then you can understand if it's edible or not. And to understand how to give a name to a thing, you actually have to talk to people who already know, for example, the difference between um, uh, a porcini and a chanterelle and a morel and a poisonous amanita bisporigera. So for that component, I would recommend getting in touch with someone in your neighborhood who knows about mushrooms, that really knows about mushrooms, or a local mushroom club, um, or someone with expertise. Don't just look at photographs on the web, although that can be a great start. Actually go with people to the woods and take the time to learn what you're looking at.